Good afternoon and welcome to the latest issue of Playprint 21, the weekly video news bulletin for the Australia and New Zealand print industries. This issue is sponsored by Spices, creating solutions together. Uh, Competition and Consumer Commission, the ACCC, is not opposing Opus Group's proposed acquisition of Avato's book printing business, with the $8.5 million deal for what was Griffin Press now set to go through straight away. Making its decision in quickfire time, the ACCC cited concerns over Avato's solvency as a reason for letting the deal go ahead. ACCC Commissioner Liz Carver said a key factor in the ACCC's decision was the likely imminent non-solvency of Avato if the proposed transaction did not proceed. ACCC actually knocked back a similar deal a decade ago when Opus looked to buy what was then PMP's Griffin Press. ACCC looked at local book manufacturing market where Opus Book Printing Division McPherson's and Ovato's book printing business unit, Ovato Book Printing, formerly Griffin Press, overlap in the printing of mono books sold in Australia. With this Laguerre business as well, Opus will now dominate the local book manufacturing market, which supplies shops like this Burklow store behind me. Uh, Ovato will receive $8.5 million from the sale, with Opus providing a further $2.5 million in the form of a convertible bond that will mature in 18 months' time. Uh, Opus aims to keep the Adelaide site with all 1890 staff, harmonising production with its existing facilities in uh, at McPherson's and Laguerre. Commissioner McCarver said market feedback regarding the transaction raised two significant but competing concerns. The first was the proposed acquisition would reduce competition by combining the two largest suppliers of printing of mono books sold in Australia. The second was that publishers who wanted, who publishers warned of the critical importance of maintaining book production capacity in the market to meet future demand. They also raised concerns that printing capacity would be removed from the market if Ovato's financial position resulted in it closing down. A major industry roundtable on the training crisis currently facing print will run at PackPrint, with input invited from all print business owners, managers, staff at the show during the, during the event. To be hosted by a high-powered panel drawn from across the industry, including Mel Island from LAA, Kelly Northwood, PVCA, TRMC, Lorraine Caston, AMW, Mitch Mulligan, Visual Connections, and TAFE representatives, Tony Dalliori from FPLMA, the forum will seek to create a cohesive voice to take to the new Labour government, with hopes that it will prove more responsive to the industry's needs than the previous administration. The forum will run from 5pm to 6pm on Wednesday 29th of June at the Pack Print Forum Theatre, which is located within the Melbourne Exhibition Centre. Uh, session speakers will provide an overview across the current landscape, looking at funding, training, training numbers, delivery models, uh, look at training providers, RTOs, enterprise providers, private RTOs, and there'll be a session on regional Australia including a regional printer's experience of skilling. It will also look at government engagement, or the current status of it, give an update and have a general discussion focusing on what's the solution. We know recently five of the six categories of print apprentices were withdrawn from the apprentice priority list uh, by the last government, even though print is one of the biggest manufacturing industries remaining in Australia. Uh, the move causing consternation throughout the trade, uh, which is facing an increasing skill shortage, as is every other industry in the country. PackPrint itself is only two weeks away. Go to print21.com.au for all the latest news and what you can see at the Melbourne Exhibition Centre. We've got a blizzard of info on the latest releases from the show, which has the exhibits, of course, but also forums, workshops and the evening events, including the HP ASGA National Sign Awards on the Tuesday evening and the National Print Awards, which will run on the Thursday evening. Tickets for both are still available. Uh, National Print Awards will be emceed by funnyman Andrew Barnett, while the HP Sign Awards are stand-up comedian, actor and TV and radio presenter Dave Thornton at the front. Marrickville Print Business, Imagination Graphics, is seeking donations to help it meet its target of supplying 500 Super T Marvel Edition care packages to seriously ill children. A Super T is a medical garment in the style of one of the Marvel superheroes. Imagination says it helps empower sick children facing life-threatening conditions in hospital. It says every Super T Marvel Edition care package helps improve the level of comfort and morale of sick children. For every donation of $45, Super T will deliver a care package to an ill child. Donations are tax deductible. Go to print21.com.au, follow the links. That's it for the news section of Playprint 21. Thanks to our sponsor, Spices, creating solutions together. Go to print21.com.au for all the details on these stories and more. Now, though, we turn to product of the week. Uh, this week, sponsored by Stick On Signs. And one of the products that will be on show at PackPrint, the Demens 3D One Pass Print and Emboss System. The immense range of European digital all-in-one eco-friendly digital print and emboss systems are brought to Australia by Stick On Signs. 
uh, demands, prints and embosses in a single step at 20 square meters an hour on media of up to 1.6 meters in width with an enhanced embossing effect up to 1.5 millimeters. A Demence range has, uh, Demence has a range of capabilities including wallpaper, decor, specialist signage, packaging and point of sale products. That's it for uh, Product of the Week. That's it for this issue of Playprint 21. This is Wayne Robinson signing off for another week.